Hi Dan, Julie Johnson with DTS, nice to meet you. So we are going to go ahead and go through the voice over IP telephone. This is the new phone system that you guys will be receiving. Um, there's a lot of great things involved with your phone set. So there is a color screen on this phone set and what we have is buttons down both the left and the right hand side of the phone. Now these buttons on the left side, those are going to be programmable. Okay, so that means that one of our technicians will go ahead and get it programmed for you guys with something on there. Um, you'll have your main line across that will be calling into you directly and it will show your phone number for your phone set. Now on the other side there's a few other features that will be available and we'll walk through those in just a moment. Okay? Um, on this phone display it is very dynamic so if I pick up the handset what's going to happen is everything changes on the phone set. If I put it back down the options change. So what you're seeing here is redial, new call, and forward all, but those change when you have a different um, status on your phone set, okay? Um, what we also have here is a toggle bar. This allows you to navigate through the phone screen. So you've got up, down, right, and left, and then you've also got the middle for select. Over here you have the red handset. That is to hang up the call, which is totally different than the pause, which is hold. Okay, you got to make sure you know the difference. Now, if you press pause, that's going to pause the call. And on the other side, they're actually hearing um, hold music through Cisco. And it is set for that specific system. So you'll hear the music. We have a transfer button with one arrow to the head. And we have also the multiple heads, which is your conference call. Um, headset, if you have been assigned to have a headset for your phone set, that will be available. And there is also the speaker, and this is the microphone, which will be mute. So then on the left side, this is to back out of the main screen. That is your exit button. Then you've got a voicemail button right here, which looks like a little cassette player. And you've got settings cog. You've got the directory book that will allow you into a directory. We'll go over that in just a moment. And there's also a plus and minus toggle bar. That's going to be for volume control. So if the handset is off hook, you can change the volume of what you hear. But if it's on hook, you're actually changing the volume of what is on the phone set. Okay? Does that feel comfortable so far? Yes. Awesome. And it'll play for just a moment and then it stops. So you've got a call coming through. You'll see the line flashing right here that gives you an indicator to answer the call, or you could answer it by the phone set. Hi, this is Julie. Hi, so we're gonna go ahead and transfer a call. Now I can either transfer through the phone set right here off the phone, and I'd press that button, or I can press this button right here with the one head and the arrow. Now for internal to the campus, I dial five digits, or if I dial outside, I would dial nine and the phone number. Okay, so we'll go ahead and do that. So we'll transfer, and then it would transfer the call, okay? And I can cancel or I can hang up after that, um, and that will transfer the call through to that person. Okay, so we'll go ahead and talk about conference call, so that's the next option. And that, you would go ahead and start with a conference call, you press the button, then you dial the number, okay, and that can be a five digit or a ten, and then you hit the button again and that will connect the first party and then you dial the number again and hit the button again to keep adding those parties onto the phone line okay um, headset we talked about how that's just if it's been assigned to you you would pick up the call through headset speaker if I have a call come in on this screen I can actually pick the call up right through speaker we also talked about how I can answer it through the answer option so on the mute option um, this would be if I click that I need to cough, sneeze, whatever. So they're going to hear dead air. It's only being silent to you so they can't hear what you're doing. Okay, But you can still hear everything they're doing. Now on the other side we talked about the settings cog. So I'm going to go ahead and just press that. And when settings, when you press that, I can toggle over to settings and choose the settings. Here you can change your wallpaper and your ringtone. Okay. And there's also brightness and font size. Those are the basic four. If you did change your wallpaper, these are factory direct. So you'd have these options come across your screen 
and that is what will show up on the display of your phone set. Once you choose which option, again I'm using the toggle, and I can select, that tells it that yes, I want to stay with it. Okay. Then I'm going to toggle down to ringtone. Now you noticed when a call came in that there's a different ringtone than just the regular ring ring. If I choose this, I can actually go through and choose some of the options. I'll just give you one of those. That's our sunrise option. And it will play through and it will let you know. I'm going to hit exit. And so that was our settings and I'll back out to exit. So what I did is I hit either the exit button here or I could have hit the back arrow. Okay. Um, then we also have the directory. Now the directory will be all of the names through the Utah Master Directory. And what you can do is if you hit that, you'll be able to go into the corporate directory and choose a name and go ahead and enter that in. It is the old text style. So what I would do is I would hit corporate directory and I would type in for Julie Johnson, it would be J and then I have to hit the U. So it's the old way of texting. So I'm going to exit back out of that. And again, I'm just exiting back to the main screen. Then on this, we had the plus and minus. We talked about how that's your volume control. So I'm going to just hand you the phone and you can hear the difference when I turn the volume up or down. That will change what you hear on that phone set. And that is pretty much the information of the phone call. So we've talked about how you receive the call through either pick up the phone, through the speaker, or through the headset, or the option on the phone screen. That's also for placing the call when you use the five, five digit or the 10 digit dialing. Um, and then one other is your call history. So sometimes it will show as a handset or if you press this, it would be call history and that's all the numbers that you have dialed. Now again, I can use this toggle and it will go down through each of those options. I can place the call here or I can even edit, there's some dots over here, and I can edit that and add a 9 to the number or add something else to it to edit that phone call as I place it out. Okay. So Dan, I did have a few additional features that I just want to show you real quick. So one of those features is Forward All. Now on the screen, Forward All option. If I press Forward All, what happens is it comes up and gives me the option to forward that call. I'm just going to quickly go to voicemail and it will show what number I forwarded to. So voicemail was just an example. But what's happened now is all of my calls now forward to that phone number that I've told it to do so. Okay. Now if I want to take that off, it's real simple. I just go ahead and press forward off and we're done. Okay. Um, also we have call park. Now call park's a really great option. If you have um, a phone call that you need to place aside as, um, so that someone else can get that call, you would go ahead and use Call Park. Now it's going to only be active when the phone call comes through on your phone set, so you'll be able to hit one of these soft buttons from the screen. You'll hit that option, and then when you do so, it's going to give you Call Park. It will place a five-digit code across your screen. You're going to probably want to jot that down because that code, you can go anywhere throughout the building and pick that call up with that five digit code. Okay, so that's also very nice and you could say, so and so I've got a call waiting for you online, such and such. And they'll go through and they'll pick up that call off of Park. Okay, and then I also wanted to tell you that we have speed dials, over 100 and up to 199 speed dials. You can actually set those up with your agency support. They're gonna go ahead and get you the information to do so and we have messages. We talked about your voicemail message button. Now when you press that voicemail message, you're going to set up your new voicemail system because everything is going to the voice over IP system. So you'll be setting it up. We do have documentation for you on that. You'll be setting up your new password, your new greeting, and there is also an op opportunity for alternate contact and that will give you those options to do a greeting and set that information up so that everyone knows who you are when they call into you. Okay, any further questions? All right, well thank you so much.